You know, when Prime Minister Trudeau commented in 2013 to express his high level of admiration for the China government's dictatorial system, we all should have seen the big red flag and how Justin Trudeau actually sees power as a means to do whatever he likes even if it's at the expense of the common people. But we all weren't taking a closer look and neither did we give deeper meaning to that crazy comment that year before Justin Trudeau finally came into the global political spotlight two years later in 2015. For Justin Trudeau, China's dictatorial regime represented a dream and long-term fantasy, an authoritarian form of government where he could do whatever he wanted. And of course, that is why it isn't so surprising when he does most of his narcissistic and highly undemocratic acts. I mean, when he said he finds it quite interesting having a dictatorship where he can do whatever he wanted, everyone would have expected that a period like the one Canada has been experiencing since the pandemic would definitely come and the self-centered Trudeau would ban dissidents from leaving the country place heavy mandates on those who refuse his undemocratic policies, continuously lock Canadians down to control them forcefully, shut down protesters' bank accounts, and ban peaceful protests against his regime. And of course, Trudeau's atrocities equally extend to his several secret grafts, economic corruption, and several scandals. It also includes his unaccounted runaway spending and many other hypocrisies that the whole world can't help but notice. And yet again, Trudeau gets called out on his high-handedness and narcissistic mode of governance that has continued to destroy Canada's economy and Canadians' mental and financial health. We've got so much to discuss in today's video on another revelation of the Trudeau Liberal government's dictatorial bullshit. So stay with us and watch this video till the end. And if today is your first time watching our videos on this channel, you are highly welcome to Front Page News, a channel dedicated to bringing you the latest update without the ill-concealed and abundant hypocrisy of the left-wing and mainstream media. Please support us by subscribing to the channel and liking this video and many of our other videos. You might as well consider sharing our videos with other people and turning on your post notifications so you never miss our regular video updates. That said, let's continue quickly. Apparently, Justin Trudeau has gotten himself called out again by popular American podcaster and host of the Joe Rogan Experience, Joe Rogan, on his recent podcast. On Thursday, the podcast host sat down with stand-up comedian Tom Segura on a recent episode of the Joe Rogan Experience and said the people of Canada must get rid of their dictator, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. You all will recall that the popular podcaster had once called out Trudeau earlier in May this year, calling him a creepy dictator whose behavior during the Freedom Convoy freaked him out. But of course, in all honesty, I bet that the narcissistic overreach of Trudeau over the protesters freaked out everyone in Canada and abroad. And again, Trudeau had himself described perfectly like who he actually is by Rogan. During the podcast, Rogan told Segura that Donald Trump is cut out of home alone when it plays in Canada, and the two started ripping into the country. And Joe Rogan replied, Canada is communist. Canada's crazy. Dude, they're fucked. They're fucked. They gotta get rid of that guy. Yeah, that was what Rogan said in reference to Justin Trudeau. Meanwhile, Rogan admitted that he liked Justin Trudeau before the pandemic. But of course, like the majority of Canadians, his opinion of the Prime Minister took a negative turn. Here's what he said. I liked him before the pandemic. Trudeau? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, he's a handsome guy. Yeah. S seems sweet. Yeah. You know, it's like, good good looking guy, confident, good talker. Yeah. And then during the pandemic, I'm like, oh, you're a fucking dictator. Yeah. Oh, you don't like criticism. You're trying to shut down criticism by saying that all your critics are misogynists and racists yeah you hear he said that about the trucking people the truckers he called them called them all misogynists and racists Oof. yeah he's gross he's a sketchy guy at the same time rogan also pointed to justin trudeau's comments on the freedom convoy a peaceful protest of canadians led by truckers who traveled to the nation's capital ottawa to protest federal covid 19 vaccine mandates but rather unfortunately and in what seems of the public slaughter of democracy these protesters got labeled as terrorists and got the Emergencies Act invoked on them by Justin Trudeau. And as if that was not enough, they got their bank accounts frozen and the vaccine mandates doubled down on them despite being temporarily lifted recently. Joe Rogan had mentioned that he suspects Trudeau has some sketchy deals and wondered whether all the money was coming from. Like, why, why do you want everybody to get injected every four months? They don't need that anymore. Like, what are we doing? What are you doing? You can't even get into Canada unless you're vaccinated. Apparently, foreign nationals cannot enter Canada unless they have two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine. And at the same time, unvaccinated Canadians returning home must quarantine for 14 days and undergo testing. I mean, it all gets so cagey, and it not only leaves Rogan suspicious about whether Justin Trudeau has some sketchy deals with the vaccine-producing companies like Moderna and Pfizer, but the majority of Canadians are also beginning to suspect that there is more to the vaccine mandates than safety like the Liberals are claiming it is. And of course, Rogan definitely isn't the only person that's really fed up with Justin Trudeau's narcissistic administration. 
The majority of the people of Canada are already really not impressed with the Trudeau Liberal government, and it's increasingly becoming an everyday wish that the Liberals' regime would come to an end very soon. Liberalism connotes being willing to respect or accept opinions different from your own. I mean, you should be open to new ideas. It connotes promoting individual rights, civil liberties, democracy, and free enterprises. But in a rather ironic and very unfortunate manner, the opposite has been the case under the administration of a prime minister who had expressed his endless fantasies over China's dictatorial rule in 2013. But of course, history will never forget all the division and hardship the selfish, oppressive, and globalist agenda-pleasing Justin Trudeau caused the people of Canada. We've come to the end of today's video. Please let's know your opinion on Joe Rogan calling out Justin Trudeau in the comment section below. So make sure to leave a like for this video, share it with as many people as possible, and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for our next video upload. Thanks for watching.